In this video, we will talk about a technique called matrix-associated laser desorption, ionization mass spectrometric imaging, or MALDI-MSI. In short, MALDI-MSI utilizes sequential mass spectrometry on the sample, and uses that information to generate images of the distribution of hundreds of molecules simultaneously. In order to understand MALDI MSI, we should first look into the core technology behind it, mass spectrometry. Mass spectrometry distinguishes different molecules based on their mass to charge ratio. Let's look at an example of how this is done. Our sample is a mixture of chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 isotopes. In nature, their respective abundance is approximately 75 and 25%. Keep this detail in mind since it will be important later. Firstly, the sample will be vaporized. The resulting gas will be bombarded with electron beams, pulling away its electrons and creating positive ions. This process is called ionization. The ions will retain the mass of their parent molecules, either 35 or 37 Dalton, but have the same charge. Then, chlorine ions will pass through an electric field formed by two accelerator plates. This greatly increases their speed as well as focuses their path into a beam. Once the ions arrive at the magnet, their path will be deflected based on their specific mass to charge ratio. Ions with a higher mass to charge ratio will be more resistant to the magnetic force and turn more sluggishly. Conversely, ions with lower ratio will turn more efficiently. The ions continue on this path until they hit the detector plate. Here, based on their position, a small electrical signal will be generated, which can then be amplified and recorded to construct a mass spectrum. Now, let's see how a mass spectrometry experiment provides data on the sample's molecular composition. Since there are more chlorine-35 in the sample, more ions of this type will be available to generate a stronger signal. This is demonstrated in the mass spectrum, with mass-to-charge peaks for different molecular identities and signal intensity for their relative abundance. There is roughly three times more chlorine-35 than chlorine-37, as expected. Another crucial component in MALDI MSI is the matrix. This matrix often consists of organic acid, or more recently, nanoparticles. Spraying is usually method of application since it forms a homologous layer of matrix atop the sample. A uniform layer is essential in generating unbiased data. The matrix assists mass spectrometry by localizing sample analytes and providing a suitable environment for ionization. Once deposited, matrix particles form co-crystal with the analytes, which lock them in place and ready for laser desorption. The matrix selectively crystallizes with molecules of certain size range or characteristics. Thus, varying its composition can narrow down the window to find your molecules of interest. Next, laser in MALDI MSI is used to simultaneously vaporize and ionize the analytes. A solid state laser with 355 nanometer wavelength is usually used as the source. The sample space is divided into grids, with each square called a raster. Within each raster, the laser beam will ionize a spot and the resulting ions will go through a mass spectrometer as described. A mass spectrum will be generated for every spot in the sample. Data of the analyte of interest can be extracted by its distinct mass to charge peak, and an image can be created based on the intensity at each spot. Traditionally, resolution of MALDI MSI has been limited by the size of the co-crystal. Once hit with laser, the whole crystal will be vaporized and sent to mass spectrometer, making it the smallest resolvable detail in the image. Degradation of the organic matrix also worsens the signal-to-noise ratio. However, the recent use of nanoparticle matrix has alleviated these limitations. Now, resolution is only dependent on the size of the laser dot, which can range from 200 micrometers to sub-micrometer. However, making the laser dot smaller will also increase time, as more spots need to be analyzed. Thus, there is a trade-off between resolution and imaging speed. It is also possible to only image specific area within the sample to increase the speed. 
Compared to common imaging modalities such as immunohistochemistry, MALDI MSI have lower resolution, but make up for it with its multi analytes detection. The technique is also label free, which enables the analysis of exotic molecules that do not have specific tags available. It is also possible to detect unknown molecules. In addition, the vast amount of data that MALDI MSI generates can be utilized by bioinformatics in applications other than imaging as well. MALDI MSI is a preferable imaging modality to study the distribution of drug in vivo. It is not realistic to create antibody for every single drug molecules. This is especially true in pharmaceutical companies where new formulas are invented regularly. Furthermore, MALDI MSI provides an effortless way to distinguish between inactive, active and metabolite forms of the drug, as long as they have different mass-to-charge ratio. In this study, the author tracked the distribution of an anti-cancer drug, paclitaxel in mouse tumor. The cross-sections of the tumor at varying depth were imaged and pieced together to form a 3D map of drug localization. Researchers are beginning to discover more applications for MALDI MSI. In this study, data manipulation technique called virtual microdissection was done to separate cancer and stroma tissue. Firstly, the tumor sample was imaged by MSI, and the overall average spectrum was calculated from all spot mass spectrum. From here, two molecules or groups of molecules were identified, one is only expressed in the stroma, and the other is only expressed in cancer cells. Spot spectrums with high expression of one of these two molecules were put into their respective group. The coordinates of these mass spectrum were also recorded and extracted to form a stroma or cancer-only image. More importantly, the expression profiles of the tumor stroma and cancer cells were separated. This enabled analysis of the components in isolation, which is invaluable in accurately characterizing their behavior. Another study utilized MALDI MSI in diagnosis. In the clinic, disease determination is usually done through a limited set of biomarkers. However, the human body is highly heterogeneous and so this approach often has issues with sensitivity and specificity. Here, scientists used bioinformatics and machine learning to exploit the multivariate nature of MSI data and create a detection platform for HER2 positive breast cancer. The mass spectrum of HER2 positive and HER2 negative cancer is clearly very distinct. By incorporating all the differences between two profiles rather than just HER2 level, they could reach accuracy level comparable to clinical tests. This method could be improved further by using a larger training set. The general multivariate approach could also be applied to better diagnose other diseases. In summary, MALDI MSI is a powerful technology that allows characterization of molecules based on their mass to charge ratio. The technique can simultaneously determine the distribution of hundreds of molecules such as protein, lipid, metabolite and drug. With its increasing usage, more advanced applications of MALDI MSI could prove to be beneficial in multiple fields.